Evening everybody, Monday, Thursday, prayers. Um, some reflections, some blessings for this special night. So let's pray. And in this moment of quiet, in this moment of security and sacredness, some words of John's Gospel, John 13, verse 5. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was around him. This is a blessing for Holy Thursday. And it's called Blessing You Cannot Turn Back. As if you could stop this blessing from washing over you. As if you could turn it back, could return it from your body to the bowl, from the bowl to the pitcher, from the pitcher to the hand that set this blessing on its way. As if you could continue to change the course by which this blessing flows. As if you could control how it pours over you. Unsought, unasked. Yet startling in the way it matches the need you did not know you had. As if you could become undrenched by him. As if you could resist gathering it up in your two hands and letting your body follow the arc this blessing makes. And so Father God, we pray that on this night, this blessing would arc over us. A washing a blessing, a cleansing, a cleaning that we cannot, nor would we give back. And in prayer, we imagine bread and wine. We reflect on the words of 1 Corinthians 11 verse 25. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So we think of the blessings of the sacred things, the bread and the wine, the simple but sacred. Just imagine bread and wine being in front of you. Let us bless the bread that gifts itself to us with its terrible weight, but infinite grace. Let us bless the cup poured out for us with a love that makes us anew. Let us gather around these gifts simply given and deeply blessed. And then let us go, beating the bread, carrying the cup, laying the table within a hungering world. And the reading from Mark 14 verse 32 to rest upon us. They went to a place called Gethsemane and he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. And this is a blessing for staying awake this Holy Thursday night. Even in slumber, even in dreaming, even in sorrow, even in pain. Awake, awake my soul, 
to the one who keeps vigil at all times for you and for me. Let's pray. For the world, for people, for the young and the not so young, for those working hard, For those at home, for those climbing up the walls, for those sitting in the garden, for those wearing masks and gloves, for those wearing hospital wear and dressings. For the whole world. Awake, awake, awake our soul to the one who keeps vigil at all times for you and for me and for them. Amen. And so may you find peace tonight on this holy night and we join together tomorrow for Good Friday. Take care, God bless.